you're going to swallow five gallons of bacteria every single day. That's a lot. And that's just from regular, you know, eating, talking. So when you measure it, you can make a decision of whether this person is a higher risk for something that will happen later. When we're able to diagnose disease earlier, especially when we can identify the specific bacteria and how much of them you have, combined with your body's ability or your immune system's ability to fight them off, it allows us to really customize the care and really see how the mouth is related to the body. During the pandemic, people were washing their hands all the time. But at the same time, they would tolerate having halitosis. They, they tolerate having you know, foul breath. That doesn't make any sense. There are specific bacteria, and we call them the red light bacteria, which we usually find, and they're causative actually for right. cancer, Alzheimer's, heart attacks. Because the mouth is, is truly connected to the rest of the body more so than your hands are.